Hey guys, welcome to my video on how to make these delicious Italian pork burgers. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna move the oven rack to the very top and set the oven to 425 degrees. Next, I'm going to make the fry seasoning, which includes salt, garlic powder, pepper, and paprika, and I'm gonna mix it into a small bowl so that I can top it on top of the potatoes and also add it into the pork burgers. Now let's get cooking. First I'm going to cut the potatoes into little wedges so that they kind of look like fries. I usually buy the smaller gold potatoes but here I have the bigger ones so my wedges are going to be a little bit bigger than I like but it's okay they will work. I like to cook them on a foil lined baking sheet just to make cleanup a little bit easier. Um, in the video I didn't spray any cooking spray on the foil and I highly recommend that just to make sure that the fries don't stick to the foil. Even though there's the olive oil drizzle on, on top, it's still not going to make them not stick. So I very highly recommend using a cooking spray before putting the potatoes on the foil. Now here I am drizzling it with the olive oil and then I'm going to spread half of the fry seasoning on top of the potatoes before putting them in the oven to cook. After putting them in, you're going to roast them on that top rack for 25 to 30 minutes. Now let's get to making the actual pork burgers themselves. I believe the recipe calls for 18 ounces of ground pork, and here I'm actually using two pounds, so it's a little bit over what is recommended, but that's okay. The, bur the burgers are just gonna be a little bit thicker than normal, or you could make five instead of four burgers. Um, so I'm gonna add in the rest of that fry seasoning along with some Italian seasoning, and this is what really gives the burgers that really delicious flavor, in my opinion. Um, and it also calls for some salt and as you can see here I added I think a little bit too much salt and they were a little salty but it's okay they still tasted delicious. Um, after we do that then we're going to mix it up with our hands and make sure it's really mixed up to make sure those seasonings get evenly distributed in between the meat um, and then we're going to kind of divide the meat in the bowl into four so that we can go ahead and make those burgers. So as you can see here, I start making the burgers themselves. Um, I take the chunk of meat and kind of mold it into a meatball almost before flattening it out so that way it stays together and doesn't break apart when cooking. You can smash it to get it to the thickness that you like, um, but you also want to make the meat a little bit bigger than the buns because once they cook, they're going to shrink a little bit. So you want to make sure that you don't have tiny little burgers on big buns. And here come my kids in the video. <laughs> they were wondering what I was doing and trying to figure out if it was a live video or just a recording. And here Bella is saying a quick hi to you guys. And of course, Lily had to pop her little head in too and making her silly little faces as usual. 
Next, we're going to thinly slice the red onion to add to the pan with some olive oil. You'll see that coming up in the video here. But you wanna put the olive oil in the pan and set it to medium heat and let it heat up a little bit before adding the onion into the hot oil. And then we're gonna cook it for about 10 minutes or until the onion gets a little bit browned. Like I said earlier in the video, we wanna make sure we flip the potatoes halfway through so that one side doesn't get too brown. Here I am stirring the onion to make sure it doesn't get burned on one side. Like I said, it's about 10 minutes and just let it patiently cook. It might take a little bit longer, it might take a little bit shorter. But then you're gonna add the sugar and balsamic vinegar, which I didn't show. And then once that's mixed in and given kind of a jelly-like substance, you're gonna take it out of the pan and then kind of clean it and add some more olive oil. And this is what we're gonna use to cook the pork burgers in. So as you can see here, I'm adding in the pork burgers to the pan and we're gonna let it cook for, um, I would say probably five to 10 minutes, just depending on how thick your burgers are. And then flipping them halfway through and I put the lid on just to make sure that they're cooked thoroughly and there's no pink in the middle. Um, that's your preference, whether or not you'd like to do that. And then once they are cooked, I'm gonna take a handful of mozzarella cheese and place it on top of each burger and cover the burgers to make that cheese really melt on top of the burgers before serving them. Now I'm going to warm up a skillet to toast the buns on for the burgers. It's your preference on how toasted you want them. If you want them not toasted at all, that's totally fine as well. Um, while the burgers were cooking, I made some garlic butter by just melting some butter and then adding some garlic powder to it to kind of add on top of the buns once they were toasted to just give them a little bit more flavor. Again, that's a personal preference. You don't have to, just depends on your taste and whether you like that or not. After your buns are done and the cheese is melted on the burgers, you can go ahead and serve them. I place the burger on top of the bun and then top it with the onion with balsamic and sugar on and top it with the bun and add some of the potatoes and you're all set for a delicious meal. I hope you guys enjoy. Mm -hmm. 